This is Chris Bush with MR Systems, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to store and restore a program using the SD card for the Control Logics processor. Now, it's uh, very inconvenient whenever a processor dies, but I'm going to show you the steps to recover it without actually having to use the program as long as you do the uh, legwork ahead of time. So I've got a program here that I am online with, and I'm going to show you how to store uh, the program and back it up to the SD card. So the first thing you do is you will be here with your program online. You will go to the uh, controller properties and it'll come up here and you'll go to the non-volatile memory t tab. Now to do this you have to actually be in the program mode so you would need to shut down any processes running on this PLC. So I'm going to put it in program mode. And now it gives me the option to load store. There's currently something on this SD card, but I'm going to overwrite it. So when you click on the load store, you're going to get the option for either loading from the card or storing. You're going to have a couple different options here. You'll have the load image option, and that's when to actually load it. Um, on power up means every time it powers down, if it finds that the program is not on there, it will actually load it in. On corrupt memory, if it sees that there is no program or it's in fault, it can reload it. And then user initiated would be, you would have to actually come into the program and click the load button. So I'm going to do on power up and then load mode either in program or run so if you were to restore it it can either come up in the program mode or it can come up in the run mode I'm gonna check the run button and then the last option here is the automatic firmware update now if you're trying to recover a program with a brand new processor because the old processor has died on you uh, this is you'd wanna check this it'll actually load the firmware files to get it to the exact same version it was before as well. So once you do that, you click store and it's going to pop up with a box saying basically that you're not going to be able to talk to this controller during this process. So I'll hit continue with store and then it'll tell you what is not going to get stored in here. Continue with the store, yes. And at this point, it will kick me offline. Now, it'll take a couple minutes, and if you're looking at the front of the controller, you can actually see where it is saving. So once this is done, uh, I will get a different processor, and I will show it reloading. So I'm going to pause the video here for a moment, and when we pick up again, I'm going to be on a unprogrammed controller. All right, so now that we're back and we have an empty controller, um, I am going to try to go online with this. And as you'll see, there is no program in the controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power cycle it, and that should reload the program. So now it takes about a, about a minute, and the program should be reloaded. So now we are back online, and as you can see, 
is our program back running again um, without having to download. Now this is useful for when you change out a processor. If this had been one that didn't have any firmware in it, it would have reloaded the firmware and reloaded the program and you'd be ready to go without ever actually having to go online with the next one. So that's been a how-to and uh, thanks for watching.